time for rock news on 1011 WJRR, Orlando's rock station. Let's check in with Lynch and Taco and see which rockers are making the headlines for all the right and wrong reasons. 1011 WJRR. All right, rock news brought to you by our Tuesday ticket takeover. If uh, you're not following us on Instagram at 1011 WJRR, you might want to, if only to win stuff. Yeah, uh, the third edition of the Florida Groves Festival. You could be there. Pick multiple winners today at our Instagram again, like Lynch said, at 1011 WJRR. If you don't follow us on it, do it, man, because we give away free stuff pretty much every day there. Just look for that post on the JRR Insta. Click into it to get yourself registered. All right, uh, Jelly Roll, we know, uh, is coming to Central Florida. He'll be at the uh, Kia Center in September. Mm -hmm. In fact, his whole tour goes on sale today for the pre-sale. And Jelly Roll is doing everything he can to keep his concerts affordable. Um, He wants to point out a few things here. He says, first off, for the pre-sale, which starts today at 10 o'clock for each venue, um, the only way to get a pre-sale code is to go directly to his website, which is JellyRoll615.com. JellyRoll615.com. You have that pre-sale code. You can get tickets starting for as little as thirty nine fifty. I love it when musicians do this. He says, I want to keep prices affordable. I know what you went through to buy tickets. You got to get the babysitter. You got to pay for parking, merch if you want it. It all adds up, and it's not always easy. I will always keep tickets affordable for my fans. And he continued in his post by saying, I want you all to know I am not charging $3,500 per ticket for those floor seats. It's the scalpers and third-party resellers. The only way to truly stop this is to not buy tickets from those websites. And he went on to say, he said, if you've already purchased tickets from StubHub or other third-party vendors, you bought tickets that aren't released yet, and you're going to pay way more than what you could have gotten them for with this pre-sale. I'm trying. Mm-hmm. He's trying, but are they they're better seats? That not necessarily, not necessarily. Yeah. No. So you know, again, he's trying to throw the ball into your court to let you know there are options to try to save some money here and not to get gouged. Unless money's not an object, then that's you know the it's irrelevant. It's so then, if nobody buys those floor seats from you know the scalpers and whatever, they'll lower the price of them. Then they'll they'll lower the price, and then yeah. just d- still don't buy them, and then all of a sudden you'll have an empty floor. <laughs> right. So uh, Tom Araya from Slayer, his wife is uh, getting vocal because they're the band's getting trolled by some longtime Slayer fans who are like, "What's up? You guys said you were retiring. Uh, a lot of us spent a lot of money to go see your final shows, only to have you go back on your word, and you're coming out of retirement after." five years and uh you know you said that you would not do that sandra which is tom's wife and tom was the one who really drove the let's retire slayer Mm -hmm. bandwagon she says blame it on her she's the one who convinced her husband tom to get things going again because they retired too soon and that the demand was still there so she says if uh if you want to aim any trolling at that Aim it at me. I'm the one who did this. You know, when I look at from the outside, I'm I'm so happy they're getting back together, you know, but I don't blame those fans for being pissed. You remember when the last show was here and this happens all the time I know. with these bands. I know it does. We've seen Motley Crue, they had the big press conference signing paperwork and affidavits that they never or that they were totally done and never come back they did kiss have done it uh-huh. uh you know uh, countless bands pull this maneuver so no no I, I agree with you taco lemmy's getting another statue to uh commemorate him uh of course there's the permanent one that is on the grounds of where hellfest is held every year in france but he's going to get a statue in his hometown in england be a seven foot five inch bronze sculpture that's been approved by the uh, community there and uh that's going to be something to see yeah they are taking some uh steps ahead of time to try to uh, avoid potential issues with the statue and overzealous fans getting a little too close and possibly damaging the thing 
by putting it on a higher pedestal than um, you know a normal statue might be on. Oh, look, there's a statue. of Well, who's that guy? Mm-hmm. You know, so that'll be going up. Drummer for Kansas, Phil Earhart, suffered a heart attack and will not be on the road with the band after uh, the major cardiac episode. The band has made the announcement that he uh, had the heart attack and there's no timetable for his return to the road. He'll be replaced by Eric Holmquist, who has filled in for Earhart uh, on previous occasions. Hmm. This is, uh, well, kind of one of the more uh, morbid-type John Lennon items to ever go up for auction. A bullet fired from the gun that killed Lennon. Not the bullet that actually killed Lennon, but a bullet fired from the same gun. No thanks. It's That's... being auctioned by Anderson and Garland in Newcastle, England on February 29th. The item was given to North Thrombia police officer Brian Taylor by the NYPD after they allowed him to shoot the gun on a visit to the department. Anderson and Garland's director said the fired bullet is one of those slightly macabre lots you get now and then that draws everyone's attention. Yeah, I, there's that's. I think that's off limits. I see you shaking your head. To, I, that's, that's just uh, tasteless. There's, comes to there's bad juju with that. Yeah, yeah agree, agree. The Tom Petty estate has assembled a new tribute album that features country stars. Petty Country is coming out on May 31st, and it features Willie Nelson, Dolly Parton, Chris Stapleton, Marty Stewart, George Strait, the Brothers Osborne, and many others. Uh, two former Heartbreakers will also appear on the album. Mike Campbell helps Margot Price on Ways to Be Wicked, and uh, Benoit Tench appears on Rhiannon Giddens' take on Don't Come Around Here No More. First single is Dirks Bentley's version of American Girl, which you can check out now on YouTube. I I think that could be pretty cool. Petty Seriously. Country, May thirty first. I mean, just because there's such that crossover with rock and country, no where, doubt. That would, uh, yeah. Jimmy Buffett's nineteen sixty three Ford Falcon convertible sold for a hefty price tag at auction this past weekend. It was the GAA Classic Car Auction in Greensboro, North Carolina. One of eight hundred cars that were sold at the auction. Buffett's Ford Falcon sold for the highest price. Two hundred and fifty-eight thousand five hundred dollars. Woo! Jimmy died in September of twenty twenty-three at age seventy-six. And finally, there's this: Robert Trillo of Metallica is playing on Apocalyptica's cover of the Four Horsemen from Apocalyptica plays Metallica Volume Two, which is due out June seventh. You can check out their version of the Four Horsemen with Robert Trillo guesting from Metallica. That also. On YouTube. He's a good dude. Should you be so inclined. And there's a little bit of your rock news for this morning. One oh one one WJRR, Orlando's rock station.